Our second drill is going to be our top control drill. So we're going to go through multiple different positions of top control on ways to uh, hold people down and then ways to move from one position to the next, which is what we re refer to as transitioning. So this whole drill is a cycle, okay, based off of movement, okay? So I'm going to start here with Buster. I got him down. He's in prayer position. It's very important that he just keeps everything tight. I'm going to put one arm under the underhook. I got a short underhook. And then from here, I got under the neck. Buster then is going to take his inside arm and he is going to start pushing on my hip. When he starts pushing on my hip, that induces him to want to try to shrimp. So when he pushes on my hip, I feel that. I'm going to let that hip go. I'm going to pull my arm out. I'm going to pull his elbow up. And I'm going to come in to what we refer to as a switch base. I have my switch base right to here. Then from here, I'm going to do a kick over, pulling this arm up. So as I keep this arm up, I switch back over, back to my short base. I'm back under his arm. Now, I just killed this arm, which is great for me. Then from here, I'm now going to swing my uh, forearm back and block his hip. This is what we call double under. Then from here, I swing the top arm over to over under. Okay. From this position now, the over under position, I have this hand down here just chopping right into the bottom of the hip. This hand is over the top like this. A lot of times, I like to reach down and grab the belt, just the hold. But this is my main movement position. So now from here, I'm in a short base. I'm going to come up on the balls of my feet, kick out to the, to the long base. And then from here, my hands are tight to the floor, and I can transition here to I have a long base, north-south, and a short base. If I want to keep on moving, I'll bring this hand right to here to the hip. All my weight on his chest, I tippy toe around. And then from here, I'm in my over under position to here. Now, my back hand right here is blocking his hip. This hand's going to come under control of the neck. This knee right here is going to control nice and tight, just like this. And then I get back in to my lockdown. So this is my controlling points. Okay, now from here, I'm in my lockdown. If Buster were to push onto my hip again, I could just pull it, sit up, kick over, I'm back in position, okay? And then I would go back. But for now, we're gonna keep going in our circle. So now what's gonna happen is, is I'm still in my lockdown. I'm gonna switch my arm over the top. I'm gonna get back to my over under. I got his belt right here. I broke this posture arm really good. Then from here, I'm going to switch, bring my knee right to his hip, and this leg straight right to here. Now look, in this switch base, I got the shoulder, the shoulder, my hip, my knee. We're all on the same line. This leg is not here. I want to be right on that. I'm hugging that. This knee's tight, and I'm not sitting on my butt. I'm up on it. No weight on this elbow. Now from here, I'm up high. So now I can take this hand right here, pull this leg, and I mount over, post, swing the arm, and then I'm in a mount position. And then I can sit up from here, okay? If I were to ever at any time, you know, mount is a better position than side control, but if at any time I would ever want to get off, what I'm gonna do is I would be down here like this. I would swing the arm over the top here. I drop this knee, pinch, drop my hip onto his shoulder, kick off to my reverse switch base. This hand right here locks my hip, and then I come right back to my over under position. Okay? So, I did the whole cycle. Now I'm gonna show the drill. In, uh, and two, like I said, at any point, can you do this all in reverse? So I could start in one position and go backwards, and you should do it that way. Um, but for training purposes, I like to go in a big circle and come back, and then go in a big circle and then come back. And it teaches you all the hand swings and what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. I have my short base from here. Buster pushes my hip. I turn, I pull up here, switch base. I'm back underneath, I swing my arm back. This is double under, over under, balls of the feet, long base, tippy toe around, I'm still long base, 
I'm double under on his arms. I come in short base, hanging out. Go back long base. Swing my arms before I start blocking the hip. Start coming around to be toe. I'm in my over under. I'm gonna stay in over under now. I grab his belt, drop my hip on his shoulder, reverse switch base, blocking his hip. This hand swings up to the knee. I kick over the top, post my hand, swing my arms. I'm hanging out here. Swing my arm, put my elbow in the crook of the neck, drop my hip, knee tight. Get this foot out of the way. Back step off. Reverse switch face. Block the hip. Come back. Over under. Double under. Lock down. Okay? And that completes the whole cycle. And like I said, you can rearrange this drill multiple different ways to, you know, you could start on the mountain and do the drill. You could start at north, south and do the drill and just cycle back to that, however you want to do it. But this is a great transitional drill and it, it teaches all the, the, uh, the sub positions of side control.